Hey, yeah, another week of cool VCDI and TCDI, another week of the cool morning routine, another week of cool lives, another week of cool stuff, and uh, it's still a little cold outside, it's a little cramp, weather's still up in the air, but that's okay, you know, we just needed it, so let's just get power through the crazy weather we're having, power through, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll get on to the good stuff. The good weather soon but you know what in the meantime let's do some headlines and get this cool week kicked off with california bill would bar or fine bar meaning stop uh, or fine businesses for using paper receipts now let's think about this a little bit the paper receipts you know, they have them everywhere, grocery stores, restaurants, you know, retail stores of all kinds. Paper, <clears throat> I'm just thinking, you know, we pay lawmakers and politicians a lot of money and they get a lot of benefits. Free cars, free gas, free food, free, free hotels, free travel. They get a lot of perks. They get paid pretty well to take care of real needs we, we we pick them to take care of real needs you know to solve real problems i guess i just never knew what a real problem paper receipts were causing our world right now i mean of all the things going on the homelessness the environmental issues other than paper receipts homelessness environmental issues uh crime people struggling with taxes and different things and you know taking care of social responsibilities taking care of the people our roads you know are just littered with potholes and crazy stuff but i'm glad we're taking care of the scourged wretched paper receipt oh we're solving world problems now people oh my gosh what a utopia we're gonna live in once we get rid of the paper receipt Oh my gosh, I'm sure glad we pay them big money and take care of them real well so that they can solve real problems like those paper receipts. Nice job, losers. <laughs> yeah, I think there's bigger fish to fry in the world of issues that our politicians, our elected politicians to be taken care of than the paper receipt. Yeah, I think the businesses can handle their they'll take care of it, all right? You politicians take care of the roads, take care of the people, take care of the homeless issues, take care of the social and economic issues. Let's not, let, I didn't want to figure out the paper one. I don't think that's a big ticket item, but thanks for wasting our money anyway. Good job. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, Baskin and Robbins. Uh, we need a little palate cleanser right here. <laughs> sort of palate cleanser, uh, maybe Baskin and Robbins is rolling out a chicken and waffles flavored ice cream. Okay, so chicken and waffles is a thing. I've never had it myself. I get it. I get the flavor combination kind of, and there are chicken and waffle restaurants, very popular. I get it. It's cool. It's fine. Not sure we needed the ice cream. Just not sure we needed the ice cream. But if we're going to go this route and we're saying, here's a chicken and waffle ice cream, what's next? And I'm not going to eat this, by the way, but if you want to test me, test me with something like this, would I eat the grilled cheese flavored ice cream at Ben and Jerry's that makes the craziest ice creams and they're always pretty good. If they made a grilled cheese ice cream, would I eat it? Gosh, I just don't know. And we may never know because I don't know that everyone will get that creative. We'll see. Moving along. Okay, this is another just kind of, huh, what? Uh, don't push friend over when running from bears, according to the National Park Service. Okay. <laughs> Who needs to be told this? <laughs> hey, run from the bear! Oh. Ah! <laughs> They're going to get him and not me? What the? Who does that? Oh, Clayton? Clayton wouldn't do that. Jeez, Clayton would fight the bear, protect his friend. Who pushes their friend down when running from a bear? Who needs to be told this? Those people need to be 
smacked around just like the politicians taking worrying about stupid paper receipts. Jeez, that card took offense to me saying that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough of the shenanigans. Lawmakers, take care of important business, not paper receipts. Ooh, that one's just stuck in my craw there. All right. Hey, it's Monday. We're going to have a great week. we got lots of cool stuff coming up. Uh, oh, you know what? i got to back up a little bit on the headlines. i got to correct something last week. Last week, I did a couple headlines on AMC movie theaters and their new popcorn off offering. Now, I freaked out. I freaked out. I did. I was very like upset and appalled, and I got very angry with the CEO being excited about this new popcorn offering, and I got angry. I'm not going to lie. Took it a little bit too far, some might say. <clears throat> but if you care about popcorn like I do, I do not think I took it too far. However, in my goofiness with the headlines, I tend to just read the headlines and not read the article. It makes it more fun that way. But uh, I went back and I said, you know what? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I could be wrong. And I like to be wrong because then I know what's right. I learn. And so I went back and I read the article. I said, okay, what's going on with the AMC popcorn? What is the deal? Are they really doing this? It's going to drive me crazy if they're really going to pre-bag the popcorn and sell it to you to go in the movie theater. That is not the case. I'm happy to report that is not the case of what they're doing. Here's what they're doing. You can pre-order some popcorn and some butter to take with you somewhere. Yeah. So maybe you're just down, you know, you're downtown, you know, by the Brennan Theater, and let's just pretend it was an AMC. You could call in advance and say, I'm not gonna see a movie, but I'd love to have some popcorn right now. In fact, I'm gonna watch a movie at home, but I'd love to have some of your popcorn. You can call up the AMC movie theater, say, I'd like a bag of popcorn and a butter to go. And they will pull it aside. They'll pull the fresh popcorn, put it in a bag, seal it up, give you some pop, some butter to take home. That is pretty cool. That is worth the CEO being excited about. That's a pretty cool thing. So you can pre-order some butter. You can walk in and grab some butter. They'll make it for you right there, and you leave without having to buy the movie, without having to watch a movie. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. So AMC theaters, you can still get your fresh extra butter at the theater. Case closed. Thank you very much. All right. Taking care of business here. And now, hey, it's Monday. Very exciting news. We had two people start new jobs last week. And here they are. We got Rachel and Brennan. Yeah, Rachel's starting at the Doubletree Hotel. That's pretty awesome. And Brennan is starting with the Modesto Nuts. It happens, people. If you want that independent employment, you just got to talk to Zach, work with Zach, work with all of us. We'll get it done. We'll get you out there. But super excited for these folks. Got some cool stuff coming their way uh, for that. Very nice. All right. What do we got next? What do we got next? Well, we got a lot of things going on this week because we got our film contest this next coming weekend on Saturday the 11th. Remember, what do you need in order to audition? Auditions are coming up this week. I'm going to post it. You need to be able to have independent transportation to and from our building here. And you need to be able to provide for your lunch. That's number two, okay? So independent transportation to and from this building and be able to take care of your lunch. You're good. We're gonna do auditions this week. That'll be for Saturday in our 40 hour film contest, okay? Through the State Theater, that's pretty exciting. Now, also on the 12th, Sunday the 12th is what? Daylight savings time, the one that I hate, which is the spring forward. The spring forward is where we lose a day. So it, you know, when I get up in the morning, it's like you know, six, seven o'clock in the morning, yeah, on Sundays. Instead of it being seven o'clock, it's now eight o'clock. Like, ah, oh, I lost an hour, and that really bums me out. I just never really recover from it. it. Takes me a while. So that is the twelfth. Be sure to set your clocks forward if you need to. If you got phones and watches and all that kind of stuff that are you know eye watches and all that kind of stuff and most things take care of it themselves these days typically like in my house all i have to fix is the microwave that's the only thing i change anymore it's the microwave clock that's it so that's this sunday the 12th is daylight savings all right that's it for today for me anyway let's do some positivity get more pumped up starting with with the sea dog with chilling with sea dog <laughs> Hey, but
really feel the magical thing. It's not a gumball. <laughs> I like the last thing and that was a very shocking, shocking thing I did. It did taste very good. It tasted like something that, that Carl Eggheim would cook. Definitely not a grilled cheese. Ooh, I do like grilled cheese, maybe I'm possum meat. Ah, so, can't quite figure out what this is. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's not an eyeball. Oh, 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 Kinda looks like one though, doesn't it? Hmm. Ah, I have a feeling it's not an eyeball! Uh, uh, so see, I really like just trying to tell you through, but see, it's stressing me out because I do not know what it is. Ah, so I'm gonna just leave that there just as a pillow. Ah. Yep, I wanna play some music. Here. Where's the brassy? Oh, brassies! No more! Oh, I miss my brassies. I wonder whatever happened to do this priest. Except for that J-Rock guy, he's a jerk. broke us up. Good thing he's in the pokey now. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna chill to go to this beautiful relaxation room, which I think I'm about to permanently move into. You know, it's much, much warmer and cleaner than the, you know, that's really river. And like I said, my van is now a submarine. So brassies, hey, remember, thinking of good times is a good way to chill. It makes you feel good once the, once the cockles of your asparagus starts. So brassies, We'll go back to you later while you do your research. Brassies! No brassies! No more! Now, since the paper receipts is being resolved, we can just go about our lives feeling good about everything in life because that is being resolved. Have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, on the morning routine. It's going to be a great week. Take care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got away from me. Thank you.